Okay, it's Saturday the 27th of June and we're here at the uh, Leicester LGBT Centre on Wellington Street and we're joined by Grace Petrie. Hi Grace, how are you? Hi, very well, thank you, how are you? No problem, thank you for agreeing to talk to us. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going, first of all, what's going on here today and then tell us a little bit about the, uh, the youth section you're in. Okay, um, well this is the uh, LGBT Centre which stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender um, and today we're having a community day where we've just invited all the groups and all the people that use the centre uh, within the community to kind of just come along and tell everyone a bit about what they do to kind of raise the profile and um, hopefully get more customers and service users through the doors so that's what's going on here today. Um, behind me we've just got the youth stall. Um, I'm a youth worker here at the centre. I run uh, two youth groups within Leicestershire, um, one on a Wednesday night and one on a Thursday night um, and they're both for LGBT or kind of unsure or questioning people um, who just want to come along. Uh, it's a very open atmosphere, it's very uh, welcoming. Um, and that's for people aged 13 to 19, uh, so that's what's going on here today. Okay, now what we'd like to do is actually have on our young people's news agency website, the tour section, to cover things like LGBT. Are you interested in helping us to sort of put that together and providing us with news about what you're doing? Yeah, like? very much so, very much so. Okay. Um, we're very keen to kind of get the word out on the street because obviously there's gay people everywhere, not just within the city centre. So, yeah, through like the internet and things, that would be uh, really, really something we'd be interested in. So as the dedicated youth worker employed by the, by the centre, what would you do on a sort of a day-to-day -day basis to try and engage with, with young people? Um, it varies really. Um, my job is kind of split in half between kind of direct work with young people um, to kind of going into schools and working on things like anti-bullying policies and training with teachers to kind of create a more kind of gay-friendly culture. Yeah. Culture. Sorry. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. A more gay friendly culture within schools um, and the education kind of setting. Um, well, on a day to day basis, we also run kind of one to one appointments with young people um, where you know you can phone up the centre or email or get in touch via the website um, and have a, a range of, an appointment with a dedicated youth worker who will be there just for that time to spend with you um, if you need advice or. or you know, just a space to talk. Um, so I spend a lot of my time doing that. And like I say, obviously running um, youth groups with uh, other youth workers as well. Okay. Now, if, uh, say for example, um, a young person was kind of questioning at the moment and kind of exploring where they're about, they're a teenager and stuff, and they've logged onto the site, is there a number, a telephone number that they've got that can they can ring here at the centre or yep. specifically to get hold of you? And would yep. you be able to tell us what that is? Um, the number for the centre for the office, where you can always get hold of me, um, or if I'm not there, um, someone will take a message and I'll, I'll endeavour to get back to them um, is Leicester 816 um, but also if you're interested in something a bit more confidential we also run a helpline on Thursday evenings uh, which is completely confidential and you don't have to leave your name or anything Okay, that's brilliant, thanks very much Grace I hope Thank to you. catch up with you again soon Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, you.